Welcome to the UPS Battery Professor. We're going to show you uh, a problem battery that we've noticed uh, for APC. Uh, in the background you hear a, a, a unit that needs replacement batteries. Uh, the series that we're dealing with is NS, RS, VS, and XS. Usually you're going to see the numbers of 800, 900, 1000, 1200, and 1500. Okay, let's start. First thing you want to do is turn off your unit. Just press that button, it will do that. For safety's sake, you also want to unplug it. Now that we're unplugged, I can actually put the unit down on its side and get access to the batteries. In this particular one, you kind of just kind of push in and slide down, and it comes out. You'll notice that you have a plug. Sometimes it may stick, sometimes it may not. Just kind of wiggle, and eventually you'll get it out. You'll notice on the top, you have a short plug, which is connected to the unit, and one that's just connected to the battery. Just pull on that and it slides right out. Very simple. You'll notice on the battery that it'll have an RBC number. Typically it looks something like that. Um, in this particular case, it looks like one battery, but it's not. It's actually two batteries with a uh, casing and a plug to customize it for this particular unit. For the display purposes, I'm going to use a battery that I've already cut up. Again, it comes out looking just like this. You want to get some kind of knife, exacto, whatever you want. This whole process will take about 10-15 minutes. You want to cut right along the edges so you can open up this unit. Same thing on the other side. And you'll see that both sides are open. Now in this particular battery it gets a little confusing because of the color of the wires and how you want to hook up. So you'll notice one side has what seems to be easy access. And on the other side, it's a much tighter fit. So the easiest way to do this is to kind of fold it in half, unplug it. On this particular side, you'll have just a yellow and a black. On the battery itself, that yellow was connected to the positive and the black was connected to the negative. The battery itself will have red for positive and black for negative. On the other battery, you'll notice it's a much tighter fit. It's a little harder to get at. So the reason why we want to pull this apart first is so that we can start from the bottom and work to the top. So those are the two batteries that need to be replaced. In your shipment, you're going to have two new batteries. It's not always apparent to everybody, but there are some protectors sitting right on top. You just pull them off, you can throw them away afterwards. And I typically like to use the side that's flat, not the side that's inside where the wires can be moved much easier to start with. You'll notice that you don't have a lot of choice. It only fits one way, and the leads are always on the same side. But in this particular case, the yellow wire is actually connecting to the black on the battery, and the red and yellow wire is actually connecting to the positive, which is also red on the battery. So to start with, I'll connect the negative, connect the positive, make sure there's a tight fit, and kind of move this uh, plastic piece until it slides into a place where you're, you're even with the rest of the battery again. Again, just a matter of getting the wire out of the way. Now, once you've done this, you've probably dislodged a little bit. You'll notice that the wires go around these uh, little tubes inside the system. Just get them back in the same place. Okay. Second battery, again, red for uh, positive, black for negative. It's a little easier on this side because the black is for the negative, and the yellow wire in this particular case is for the positive. So I'm going to connect this because it's nice and long to the positive and the black to the negative and it will sit right inside that cradle with a little coaxing I didn't quite get the negative on so do make sure that's on and then you have a completed system now what you'll probably want to do is get some tape put it on both sides so it makes it so it's a little easier to handle when you're done take that same system Again, this is a little easier because it's already taped up. You'll notice that there's only one way to get this battery in here. 
there's a, a groove on the bottom here that allows you to fit this particular wire. Just lay it down, slides right in. Again, re-hook up, go all the way till it usually clicks. You need to push it down a little bit because the wire pops out. Again, you take the front piece, kind of wiggle it, and then slide back up. Plug it back in, turn on the unit, and you're all done. If you do have questions, please uh, go to our website. You can email us or call us. Again, it's apcupsbattery.com. Thank you for watching.